thank you for, thank you very much honorable chair my greetings to the president our ministers honorable members special delegates the concept honorable president of tumamena has become so popular in this debate i'm tempted to start there but i will come back to that one our country has entered a period of change and we stand at the edge of the new dawn. It is for us to seize this moment fully and ensure that it is tuned into a moment that will propel us towards a nation registering progress and development in improving the lives of our people for the better. We need to therefore approach this new dawn with new thinking, a progressive outlook and ensure that as we progress through this period, greater bonds of human and social solidarity amongst our people and the nation shall be achieved and will make us stronger when the testing times arrive and make us better equipped to deal with this. For all of this, we have the State of the Nation address to thank for its guidance. Whilst change does produce uncertainty and anxiety, this natural phenomenon offers great opportunity for renewal, revitalization, and progress. Our determination to overcome the challenges that lie ahead of us and convinced that by working together we will build the fair and just and decent society to which Nelson Mandela dedicated his entire life. Having said that, Honorable uh, House Chair, before I delved to, to the subject of economic, I have to contextualize the status quo that our people find themselves in. It is important to note that our people, the majority of South Africans, did not either choose or wish to be relocated to townships. It's also in the response to those members who, dis who pretend as if uh, our people land was not expropriated from our people without compensation. Our people owned land before. They were brutally uprooted from their only homes and land they had known without any compensation. So we to see Unabandu land in a pretender as if a land expropriation without compensation is a new thing, a figure and a president. We are said to Sagelo president. In his State of the Nation address, the president made reference to a number of social economic transformation issues designed to create more inclusive economic growth. The reference to open code, using competition policy to open markets up to the new. Black, black entrance investing in the development of business in townships and rural areas is essential to ensuring greater inclusive economic growth of our country. The significant participation and meaningful inclusion of the people in townships into mainstream economy of a metro, a province, through their own township enterprise that are supported by the government and big business is a crucial factor for the success of inclusive economic growth in the township and rural areas. To build a modern South Africa, the best foundation is our own traditions and culture. The best tools is our own hands, minds, and skills, and the best material is our own ideas, wishes, and aspirations. The township must be self-sufficient and vibrant economic. Therefore, support from government is required. The State of the Nation address especially addresses this when it speaks to infrastructure support for rural and township economic development, prioritizing the rollout of bulk infrastructure in rural areas. For example, construction of new dams, irrigation, railroads, communication, and fertilizers, 
Infrastructure investment is key to our effort to grow the rural and township economy, create jobs empowerment, small business, and provide service to all our people. The new investment in roads, power stations, schools, and other infrastructure will greatly assist in this regard. One of the areas that has been of great concern in our oversight, um, Honorable President, has been the feedback from entrepreneurs, both in the townships and rural areas, that some of the project takes time, takes time to get off the ground, leaving communities frustrated, and may eventually drop out of the project and seek alternative as the ability to do waste is not economically viable. We are saying that must be uh, dealt with. In addressing this, we are greatly encouraged by the announcement in the State of the Nation address that the President will assemble a team to speed up implementation of new projects, particularly water projects, health facilities, and road maintenance. We understand this to mean that the lesson have been learned in our experience in, in building new infrastructure which will inform our way ahead. The ANC policy and vision is support of vibrant and sustainable enterprises as part of building an inclusive labor absorbing and growing economy at a broader level. Both regional and district economies benefit by the transformation of townships into sites for productive activities, contributing to socially inclusive wealth, creating and helping to foster sustainable livelihood through job creation, social cohesion, and active, active citizenship. We therefore, Honorable President, request that you look at the manner in which in the National Development Agency in Department of social development. We have a database of people who are getting social grants in that department, which forms basis for the development of people to help them to be out of the grants and free some money for other activities, but engage in Order economic. Honorable Damien. Honorable Member. Oh, three minutes. Dalu <laughs> Three minutes. It's According to the program, is Sheikh Iman. So three minutes is gone. No, it's Honorable Damini. Where? All the members. It's 10 minutes. It's Honorable Damini this way. In the program, yeah, it's Sheikh Iman. And Sheikh Iman is having three minutes. It's three minutes is gone. What is happening, Chair? No, I'm assisting you, all the members. I'm assisting you. The speaker on the podium is Honorable Damini. It's 10 minutes. Can you continue, Honorable Damini? Chairperson. Person, may, may I just beg your indulgence because this is what's going to happen when the speaking order is changed. Usually there's a consultation with the whips. This Honorable Clemini was supposed to speak four speakers ago. I don't know where she was, but she wasn't here clearly, and other speakers were taken. But when the order is going to change, I think that the table or the other, the, the, the governed party whips need to consult with the other whips to avoid this type of situation. It, it's a valid point. Can you continue, Honorable Clemini? Public procurement. Chair, don't and just rush to say she must Can you Just update us how many minutes does she have? Because we don't know. We'll go on and on and on until when? Because Sheikh Iman, if she's on the podium, three minutes was allocated to Sheikh Iman. We don't know if this is Mrs. Sheikh Iman or what is happening. The speaker, the speaker at the podium is Honorable Damini. She has been allocated 10 minutes. Can you continue, Honorable Damini? Public procurement can significantly change the structure of the economy by supporting enterprises across the value chain of production. To achieve this, provincial and local sphere of government, in particular, have an important role in opening up procurement processes through the review of procurement guidelines and creating a list of ring fence goods and services to be procured from rural and township entrepreneurs. They are being supported to secure community markets through the formal of consumer cooperatives like Amaspaza shops, Yoshitanyama, and those women who are doing sewing. If their goods could be procured by government, it will open markets for them. 
Honorable Chair, I want to conclude by also sending the Honorable President. Uguti, as we deal with e leadership and governance, Mkela Gugtuma Genam President, Gugtuma Gumetro City, to deal with the anomal anomaly of government that we have there, where you have a mayor which is not accountable to any party. A mayor who was, there was a vote of no confidence by her own party, and she won. But now, where is she accountable to? So, Nyaktuma, the Nam President, who said, Agew Hambo, Yosu Butela, who said, Gwenda Gala, Nila Payan. Thank you very much. Thank you.